going from 750 to 800 is a lot harder than going from 500 to 700 plus. What's going on guys, in today's video, we're gonna go over the three steps. The three steps that you guys can take to go from whatever your current score is right now, and you're gonna be able to bring it up all the way up to 700, 750 plus, and even to the perfect score of 800. Now. There are so much information going around the internet telling you, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this to raise your SAT score. And sometimes all of these great information can be harmful because people will look at them and be like, I have no idea what to do. There is just so much information. They are contradicting each other. I'm not even sure what the step one, step two, and what the step three would be. That's why in this video, I'm going to simplify it. I'm going to oversimplify it and give you the big picture, the bird's eye overview on reaching the perfect score of 800. And this is based on my experience working with over 400 students at this point. And honestly, that's a pretty decent sample size. So if it works for them, chances are it's going to also work for you too. So take it as a grain of salt, but it's worth taking a look at. So if you're finally ready to raise your SAT score, then go ahead and smash the like button and let's get started with today's video. So the very first step when it comes to raising your SAT score is going to be mastering the concepts. If you've been following my channel for a while, I've been preaching, 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 master the concepts since the day one. And that's because the SAT has about 25 different concepts that it's going to test you on the day of the SAT. So for example, let's say there is an exam testing you on additions, right? This exam is testing you on additions. However, if you don't know how to add, Chances are you're going to miss every single question on here. No matter how much time they give you, no matter how hard you try, you're going to miss every single one of these questions. And obviously SAT is more than just addition, but it's the exact same process. It's going to test you on 25 different concepts like circles, angles, triangles, synthetic division, all that kind of stuff. And these things are going to show up on the SAT. But if you don't know how to add, when they show up on the SAT, you're not going to be able to solve them. Because if you don't have the concepts down, then when you go into the practice exams, you won't be able to solve these questions. You will be wasting your time. And most importantly, you will be wasting these valuable limited resources. So the very first step is for you to master the 25 concepts. And if you're wondering what are those 25 different concepts, they're going to be listed in detail under the curriculum section on the SAT Math Accelerator page, which is my six week program. It's going to be linked down below. You can check it out later. And once you have mastered those 25 different concepts, it's going to take you to around 700, most of the time 700 plus. But what if you want to score a little bit higher? What if you're like a big shot and you want to get a 750 plus on your exam? Well, here's what you need to do. Here's step two. You have to master the hardest questions that show up on the SAT. Those difficulty 4.5 and difficulty 5 questions, you have to master them. Because on the SAT, 90% of the questions are going to be easy and medium difficulty. And the other 10% are going to be the hard and hard and very hard questions. And once you finish step one and master the 25 concepts, you're going to have zero problem solving all of these easy and medium difficulty questions. However, when it comes to difficulty 4.5, five questions where you look at them and you're like, what the heck is this? Like, is this even supposed to be on the SAT? Those kind of questions, those are the ones that you have to master because you won't be able to solve these just by learning the concepts. And as a result, you're going to miss those 10%, which is going to bring your score down and make you stuck at the low sevens or the high sixes. So what is the solution? Well, you have to focus on practicing just with the hardest of the hardest questions, because think about it. You don't have to get better at these 90% questions. You already know how to solve them. What's holding your score down is this 10% right here. So do not waste your valuable time solving these easy, medium difficulty questions. That's not what your problem is. Your problem is right here. You have to focus on your problem so that you can solve it and raise your SAT score. So chances are, if you're stuck in the 700 range, but having trouble breaking into the 750 plus range, you're probably having difficulty with these hard questions. Not always, but most of the times that seems to be the issue. So once you have mastered the concepts and mastered the hard questions, that's going to put you in the high 700 range, in the 750 plus range. But what if you're like a big shot and you're going for that perfect 800 score? At this point, you might be thinking, okay, I know how to solve every single question, easy, medium difficulty questions, and even the hardest questions on the SAT. Why is it that I'm not getting the perfect 800 score? What most people don't know about the math section, and I didn't know this until I tutored a lot of students, is that the reason why people have trouble reaching perfect score is not because they don't know how to solve some of the questions on the math section, but rather it's because they end up making mistakes. These silly mistakes are what's holding their scores down. Like it literally doesn't make sense that you can't get a perfect score despite knowing how to solve every single question. 
but that's the reality. So that's why the third and the last step to hitting a perfect score of 800 is for you to master your mistakes. And honestly, guys, I believe going from 750 to 800 is a lot harder than going from 500 to 700 plus. And there is a special protocol I use with my students to minimize their mistakes and take them from high 700 to a perfect score of 800. But honestly, it's just way too complicated, way too dense that if I talk about it in this video, this video is gonna end up being like hour and a half. But if you guys would like for me to make a video on it, then leave me a comment down below and we'll see if I should make a video on it or not. So what you need to take away from this video is that if you're trying to hit 700 plus on the math section, all you need to do is just step number one, master your concepts. But if you want to go a little bit higher and hit around 750, then you also have to master the difficult, hard questions. And if you're going for that perfect score of 800, you also have to master your mistakes. Those are the three steps that will take you to 800, no matter what your current score is. And if you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you guys have any questions, always leave me a comment down below. I would love to help you out there as well. So, that's going to be it. Take care, guys. Keep on prepping, and I'll see you on the next video.